All right, guys, welcome back. Um, wanted to show you guys these rudders. Um, the kit comes with these carbon fiber pieces like this, uh, and it'll be uh, two per um, rudder. These are actually for the, the leading edge slats that I got to put in. But I wanted to show you guys this because uh, if you're not careful, you can mess this up. So there was wood in here which is good the wood block is about right here and let me get one of these forms just to kind of illustrate what I did um, I went ahead you can see the lines there got the center point up to the pivot point and then did perpendicular uh, oh, last thing's not not focusing there we go and that way I wanted my pivot point of the rod end to be 90 degrees to that just to you know give you a good uh, pivot point and you want to also try to get it as far out as possible I'm just too close that's what it is far out as possible to this side that way you kind of have a little bit of an arm so it actually can you know uh, give you some pulling force but um, so the way I put mine in I gotta sit down this to kind of hold this is I put the the rod end on and then I cut a channel in to where the rods like this because if you try to go this way with it you run out of material plus you run into the you got to be careful when you're cutting the material out of here not to hit the little guide tube uh, and I did on one of mine, but it's not a big deal. You just got to make sure when you put the glue in there to run the rod through with some lubricant to clear that channel. But so mine's essentially in here just like this, and it's in the wood, so uh, they're not coming out. So I put the two two together with the rod in, uh, made sure I trial fit it, trial fit everything, put a little bit of high saw in here, pushed them in, got them where I wanted, and you do have to clear quite a bit right here that way the when the rod it when the when the rudders like this you know your arm kind of comes over this way so you got travel this way is not too much but when you go this way and, and the rod folds in on itself a little bit you have to have a little channel cut here for the rods and uh, make sure you have to actually twist them a little bit like this uh, to get them I guess you would say perpendicular to the the front of the uh, to the rod uh, as well and the most important thing you do is you want to make sure that you can get the bolt and screw out to pull that rod end out because if you push them in too far you don't take out enough material or don't plan for it you glue them in and you won't be able to get the rod end out so if it ever wears out or breaks or something you won't be able to replace it without cutting all this out so I put it in with the rod end on got them where I wanted uh, let it set up and then I took the rod out, or the rod end out. I made sure I get the bolts in and out, which you cut a little hole here at the bottom, and then you leave a little bit of material up, up here on top for the nut. And you hold the nut here, and then just run your screwdriver up through this hole and take it out. It's real simple. Uh, and then that way, once I took the rod end out, I went back and filled it in with epoxy, with high saw. And that's currently curing. I mean, it's pretty. I mean, you can touch it. It's not tacky anymore, but it's it's still a little green. So I filled it in, and those are not coming out. You're going to break this entire rudder before those those pull out. And when it's done, you know, you end up with something that looks like this. Slide that back in if I can get it in. You got to be careful. Clean off all the excess epoxy from your your surface here. So that's what you end up with. Like I said, you got to leave a little bit this way so when you when your rudder goes this way, you know, you've got clearance. This way it's not a problem. But uh, that's all it is. Like I said, the biggest thing is a little pre-planning to make sure you can get your rods off and then I had to make the little opening here in the back a little bit bigger because it pretty much, you know, when you go full one way you know this all enters the 
the rudder itself. So not too crazy, nothing uh, nothing too hard. You just got to be careful and watch out what you're doing when you put it together. So uh, that's what I wanted to show you guys. What is that? Oh man, looks like I got a little bit of glue on there. What is that? Might be CA. Take some debonder on it, but that's it for the rudders. So as soon as that finished curing, I can go ahead and um, put the screws back in with the nut, and then insert, reattach up here, and the rudders are done. Uh, I am running both rudders off the same channel to save a channel. Uh, any endpointing, endpoint slash direction uh, adjustments that I need. I'll do in the servo using the, the program or built into the radio. It's a good thing about S-Bus. So. Uh, and then after that, this uh, evening, I'll be installing these into the uh, leading edges of the, the slats, leading edge slats. So essentially all you do is put the slat on. There's a hole cut for the rod to go through. Mark where that hole is, and then you just take this, cut a cut a... I grew just big enough for this and to get some glue in there and push it in and let it dry. And then you hook your clevis right up to this and it just pulls in and out. So once that's done, the wings, rudders, and everything will be done. All the electronics are in. Just have to do the final programming on the radio equipment and the sequencer. Um, as far as building wise everything's done. I just gotta do the the pain in the crap, you know, pain in the butt stuff uh, of setting up and balancing. That's why I haven't attached the batteries yet. You know, they're still just kinda sitting up here. I don't know where everything's gonna balance when I get when I get to it. Um, and then uh, like I said, it'll just be final setup. I gotta take it downstairs um, because you know, it's at that point where I gotta get it outside out of the hobby room is just getting hopefully I can get it down there without the nose on it I normally uh, leave the nose off and then take it down and do the finishing stuff down there but kinda of screwed the pooch on this one I'm hoping I can still get it down there since this will come off and uh, I left I took the engine and stuff out of it so it's not as heavy to get down there so we'll see but anyways just want to show you guys this rudder stuff because it is kind of a, a critical part as far as getting it installed and um, like I said, if you don't have any wood in here, definitely need to, uh, I've seen people cut the bottom open and glue some blocks in, uh, but it, you just got to be careful how you do it, give yourself that, that angle that you need to for the rudder linkage, which I think that should be good right there, and yeah, but you guys take it easy, I'm going to get back to building.